Alright, let's play some Outlaw Rogue. Well, that felt pretty good. Got the stacking haste buff over here. Where's my haste up to? 60. Wow, okay. Oh no, do it faster. Go, go, go. So last time I played Outlaw Rogue, I had someone complain that I was using uh, broken trinkets. So this time around, I'm not using anything that could be even remotely conceived as broken. I have Bloodthirsty Instinct at 192 and a crit stat stick. Buried Treasure. Energy regen, okay. like a truck. I don't think this warrior uh, warrior looks like he's lagging pretty bad. Let's try to help him out here. So, Skull and Crossbones is Sinister Strike. Extra stuff. Okay, so I'm going to lose Skull and Crossbones. And I'll lose an Opportunity proc. That is okay. Okay, so now we're gonna get three mobs.
Okay, we're gonna wait for him to reform. It's gonna be right here. Good job, we kicked his ass. Sinister Strike Dispatch, top damage. Imagine that. This tank does not seem to be able to hold aggro at all. Okay, he's got a bunch of tank gear. I don't know why he's not doing well. He, he, he should be doing enough, and I don't know why he just isn't producing any threat. I mean, Outlaw is not that broken. No way it's that broken. the hell is he taking him? No, get him out of the ward, dude! Oh, such a waste of our potential damage here. That's what is this idiot doing? Get okay, no move. Come on, you can do it. There you go. So whenever you're tanking this guy, whenever you get on the lie, what happens is he starts casting that uh, that ward, and as soon as he starts casting it, just run out of the circle. And as long as you are far enough outside the circle, he will run right outside of it, then you turn your ass around and you can stand in it, and he won't get the effect. And it works out really well. If you don't do that, and you do what that guy did, you just kind of look like an idiot. And I still don't know what this tank's doing, because right now I'm doing like 50% of the damage, and as far as I can tell, he's doing about a thousand, and that's that's just pathetic. He can totally do more damage than that. Come on, dude, you got a bunch of gear.
There's that blade rush again. Boom, 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 boom. So apparently I am tanking because this warrior just cannot hold threat for whatever reason. Wait, this warrior's 117? So he's 117. And he's still using... 116 gloves? What the hell is he using those for? What? If I could produce some threat, this would be a lot easier. Okay, I can't help you here. Come on, warrior, go. What's he doing? This guy's got it. Yeah, he's got to be super lagging.
It's a good pull. Almost all blade flurry. Little blade rush in there. Oh, don't go right down the center. Don't go right down the center. That's how you get both sides and end up dead, dude. Come on. Let's see just how much damage I can do here. Last time. Pop everything. Join me or die. Go, warrior. Go. Then I shall cast your bodies to the blackened depths to be crushed for eternity. They DPS'd me too quick there. You turned against the tide, Master. So with that mechanic, you always want to make sure that the person who's collecting orbs gets to collect orbs. Because if not, it becomes a problem. Apparently the fishing artifact works pretty well in here. Looks like the warrior decided to get hit by a jellyfish though. We must press on to remove its influence from the shrine. He just does no damage. What is he using? Shield slam, melee, deep wound, thunderclap, revenge. It's just he's not doing any damage at all. To its whispers. This warrior is just There's just no way this guy can be that bad, right?
thing that's interesting here is that that ability doesn't do any damage. It just looks like it should. So hopefully that actually does do damage, maybe. Be good if it did, probably. I didn't get a single piece of loot there. That makes me pretty sad. I was hoping to see something out of it. Oh well, whatever. So that was Outlaw Rogue. Get back to town here. We'll take a look at the talents real quick for you. Taking a quick peek here, I was running Ghostly Strike. Uh, gives you a 10% extra damage window. Uh, hit and run, just extra movement speed. Vigor, extra energy, extra energy regen. Uh, Iron Stomach, didn't actually use Crimson Vial at all. I'd probably take Cheat Death normally. Uh, Prey on the Weak, so whenever I kidney shot something, or, or sorry, Cheap Shot or Between the Eyes something, because kidney shot's not in this spec. Um, extra 10% damage from all sources, your party included. Uh, Alacrity, just for... An extra 15% haste, which is a ton of haste at this level, uh, as well as Blade Rush. Uh, Blade Rush is a lot of damage, cleaves well. With Blade Flurry active, it is a ton of damage. Also generates you energy, so don't use it when you're at full energy or to start off combat um, as much as you probably want to. Use Grappling Hook and Stealth instead. Uh, so it was Outlaw Rogue. It was really fun. Um, I think most fights I was probably sitting up near the top. I know most AoE packs I was for sure. Um... Yeah, keep uh, keep tricks of the trade on CD. You're going to need it a lot. So it's Outlaw Rogue. Catch you later.